so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Ready. Ready. Good. Well, they say everybody loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes, not this gentleman. This man is drinking four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, no pad on the foot. That's a solid kick right there. So he continues to work well here in the clip. Oh, you gotta like that as a two-time United States Olympian as he goes to the ankle pick to get the takedown. I mean, it speaks to the wrestling acumen. Just the ability to find any takedown available. What a beautiful ankle pick. Oh. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth, this is a full-on brawl. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's gonna take that one shot that finishes the fight. Trying to establish that jab once again. That one snuck in. Nice strike. combination there. Not sure if it was the three-piece and a soda or what it was, but he is in a flow state here. Oh, he is moving and grooving tonight. He's feeling good. Look at the footwork. Look at the fainting of the shoulders. And then when he starts, right, he may not go right away, but when he goes, it's going to be an extended combination. Watch for him to try to really set down the last punch to end this fight. High-level guard pass there as he moves into half court. You know the guy is going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Nurmagomedov's got the full mount, making all these shots count. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw... Nurmagomedov's trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. Oh, now he bails on the submission. That's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow lance from the clinch. With conviction to the body. Nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, working inside the close guard now. Oh, into the mount. 90 seconds to go now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. Nice guillotine to tip here. That guillotine is tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Working out of the half guard here. 
Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler, and he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Oh, that's a pretty slick reversal right there. Dig and kick. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Look at the clinch there is good by Nermago Meta. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits his takedown defense. Oh, Five oh. minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes, before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. You ready to fight? Ready. Come All on. right, let's get to round two. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns switching up the techniques, constantly changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And how he lands early and he lands off. Uh, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would always be willing to bet he's going to secure it. I'll take your action. Okay. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, yeah. you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking. He is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. It gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Nurmago Medov gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. Goes to the switch kick and lands. You got that weapon in your arsenal. Right? It, it, oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, nice left kick. Win the scramble! Win the scramble! Right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Got to be careful here. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Another ground and pound strike lands. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Nermanko Medov is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom here, this is not a... He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, it's tight. Oh, wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Well, he's connecting on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Nice one-two there. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it. Well, he was setting up the hooks early and often tonight. Watch for him to try to set it up again here. A 
swing and a miss by Nurmagomedov. All right, single collar tie now. Good body shot. 90 seconds now to go round two. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown. He has certainly tried to wrestle offensively tonight with that attempt to get We knew we'd see a commitment to trying to secure those takedowns. We did not anticipate him having to take this many attempts. How long until he gets discouraged? Back in the clinch, look for him to hang on his opponent's head and try to wear at his gas tank. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Under a minute now to go in the round. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Nice body shot there. Good jab there by the champions. Nurmago Medov going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those trips. Nurmago Medov gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there disguising his entry. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Leg kick is there. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Puppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strikes with anybody in the UFC. There's a level change there. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Mm, that was nice. Closed guard. All right, so there it is again, much like he did in the previous round, able to land that hook really at will. Over and over and over and over, he is landing that very same punch, whether it's to the body or to the head. Oh, now he's attacking the triangle. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Big right hook there by the champ. In the half guard. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Oh, an outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike right there. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily win. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. While he continues to stay busy, what do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing him upside his opponent's head over and over again. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. 
nice punch to the head. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. It's got to change something. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Heavy kick downstairs. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Under 90 seconds to go. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Setting up a submission. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. You gotta be kidding me, how did he get out? He just stayed calm, was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks to go for another takedown here. If I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. But if I'm betting, I'm trying to take the over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown, so I would try to force you into saying that he does do it again or something. We'll I don't see. Know. We'll see. I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can push me up with your words. called it, DC the genius, DC the psychic. When the guys in there trying to wrestle that much, though, it's not very hard. I didn't reinvent the wheel. We knew what this guy was gonna do, chase takedowns, it is on his opponent to change the narrative of this fight. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Khabib's going for that arm triangle. Let's see if he has it. Oh, that's getting deep. All right, so there's the end of the round, the storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, his opponent tonight has done a good job of getting back to his feet, and just as I say that, planted on his back again. Another takedown, over and over and over. Look, man, I'm a wrestler, and I love taking them. But come on, do something different. Press punch, <laughs> do one of the special moves. I mean, Jesus, take down that takedown. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, has the guard closed here. Back to the feet now. Man, his jab is good, there it is. He's sticking them over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Fighter connects there. Nermako Manoff gets the double leg takedown now. Nice transition. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful reaction by him. 
there, DC caught the kick and immediately countered with a perfectly timed takedown. I mean, John, when you can have a reactionary takedown, it's usually the easiest one because you don't have to go and find the takedown. You just see this. Nermago Medov's going for a choke. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flu choke looks locked in. Oh, he got out. Oh, he's back up again. You got to like that. Ooh, what a punch. Well, you hear that crowd reaction every time he gets battered to the body. I know how tough he is, but really don't want to take too many more. I mean, even us, we're grimacing. How many more can this guy take? He cannot continue to take these body shots. It looks as though we're getting very close to a body shot finish. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Under two minutes to go in the round. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. And there's another takedown attempt. Unable to connect there. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control. Nermanko Medov is looking for that arm triangle. Oh, it's getting tight. Holding the position. Fighting for it. He wants it bad. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. He's laying down, ground and pump. If he doesn't move on the bottom, he's going to get pitched. Looks like the referee could step in here. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single cover. This could be it. 20 down, five to go. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so Ready jarring. And then the Ready. blood starts to go down Ready. into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. Oh, straight punch. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Right on the button. Right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, left hook. Oh, lands another hook. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Oh, misses with the jab. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there, and not a tumble either. Oh, nice inside kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, the boxing class, hands up, chin down. 
Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Constantly a moving target. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both setting up a sub here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Both fighters back to their feet now. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Nice crack there. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Well, he's got his back now. He's going for the rear naked choke now. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after him. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Nice punch there by Nermago Mendes. All right, he gets the takedown now, DC. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Looks like a pretty good attempt here. Oh, how about that? He gives up on the submission. Looked pretty tight to me. In the half guard. While well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Romago Mena. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here. He's in a lot of trouble. Lands a nice one, too. One minute to go in the fight. Push kick there to the bottom. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Nurmago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Well, the opponents seem to think he had shored up the takedown defense. It did not hold up there. It may feel good in practice, <laughs> but you don't know until the guys in front of you hit takedown attempt after takedown attempt. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Nermago Medov. Oh, and he's back up again. Well, you can see a little bit of swelling in and around that left eye now. All right, so a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected. 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion. But that's why he's the champion. Because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC 
heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Hermano Mera. All right, so judges' scorecards needed, not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that over.